I thought tonight I would do the moon stacking again. I want to um, compare some greater length um, imaging than I did before. In a previous video, I video stacked raw video of the moon for 15 seconds and we could see that difference. But this video I want to compare. I want to do a video of 10 seconds. 15 seconds and 20 seconds and see if we can see a difference even in that different amount because you know if we're doing 30 exposures for every second that really does make a big difference in the number of uh, exposures that it's stacking it's going to take a long time to do the stacking so I won't take you through all of that but um, I will show you how I am going to do this so I centered the moon. I'm going to go ahead and do the autofocus right here. And that should only take a, a short second. And I do have it set on video. But I do want to, I want to take an initial photo right there. I'm going to take that photo because I want to have a comparison of no stacking. Then I switch it over here to video in the bottom. And then make sure I click the raw that button right above the question mark in the right hand column of icons I want to click that raw so that it saves every one of those exposures and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a 10 second video then I'll take a 15 second video let's see we're at 9 10 all right and it saved that video and then I want to do a 15 second video and then we'll do also a 20 second video. And then I will show you how to stack those. I won't take you through all of the waiting for it. There's the 15. Got it. And now we'll do the 20. I uh, The stacking is going to take quite a bit of time. And so I won't um, take you through that. I'll show you how to get it started. And then once I am imaging things um, I will bring you back but we're almost got our third video that's 20 seconds all right we got it so now we have three videos in there um, I'm going to go ahead and click this little arrow down that's going to take me back to the main screen and then I'm going to click on my album and then you see, um, these are things that I took earlier in the day, but I'm going to click on the sea star in the top center. And then I'm going to go to lunar. And then those top three videos you can see up there. There's one that the one on the left top is 20 seconds. The one in the middle is 15. And then the one is 10 seconds. So we'll start with the 10 second one. I could play this video or in the top right hand corner i'm going to click stack and then it's going to go through this process of stacking that um, it will go pretty quickly up to about the 60 or 70 percent of stacking and then it will slow down uh, the 10 second one it'll probably take maybe a couple minutes to stack this one but you see how it slows down quite a bit once it hits up to that part of the stacking process so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this same process on the other two videos and save the result once it gets to the 100 percent um, it will pop up a little thing saying that it's completed its stacking and then at the bottom it'll say see results or i i think that's the wording it uses um, and then I will click on that and I will take an image of that. And then I will do the stacking of the 15 second video and then save a copy of that image. And then I'll do the same thing for the 20 second video so that we can compare, see how it compares with no stacking at all, just the taking a photo and then the stacking of the 10 second video versus the 15 and the 20. I was really kind of hoping that we would get done while I was rambling on here a little bit so that you could I could show you how it shows the completed. 
and it should only take a couple more seconds here. So maybe I will wait and guide you through that. So we're at 96%, um, 97. And then I, I'm hoping we'll see a big difference between them. If I just do the photo image, it, hoping it's different than the others that are video raw data stacking. All right, so we've got stacks succeeded here, 100% done. It took one minute and 54 seconds. And then it says check now. And I'm going to click on that. And then that shows that image. And then I'm going to export that image and save it to my phone. And then I'm going to go back into the C star. And I will do the same thing for that 15 second um, video and the 20 second video. And then when I'm done, I will bring you back. Okay, so here's our results. This first picture is the one I took before I did the video. It is just a JPEG image of the live view. And so it doesn't have any stacking whatsoever. This next image is the stacking of the 10 second raw video. And so it had 30 exposures per second. So 10 seconds. So that's 300 exposures that it's stacked for this image. And you see that the color is definitely different. You know, the, the image to the left is more white, where the stacked image, it kind of mutes those colors a little bit, but it brings out a lot of the detail. Um, when I'm done putting them all on the screen, I will zoom in a little bit more so that you can see them up close, so you can see the detail difference. That's where it really shines. So this is the 10 second exposure video. So this is the 15 second video. So 15 times 30, you know, you can do the math. Um, so it does have quite a few more exposures. And again, I'll, I will zoom in once I get them all up on the screen, but this one is the 15 second video stacked. This final image is the 20 second video. So 20 seconds at 30 exposures per second, that's 600 exposures that is stacked for this image. So let's go ahead and we will zoom in on them a little bit so that we can see the detail. You see that the stacked ones all look a little bit more gray. So you, you really think that maybe they didn't do as well because it's not as bright, but when you zoom in, you'll see quite a bit of difference. So let, let, do that next. Here they are enlarged. It's kind of hard to fit them all onto one screen and see the differences, but you can definitely see the difference between the stacked images and the just one exposure. Um, I see the difference mainly down in the bottom where the craters are. Of course, there's a, a little bit of a color difference in the whole thing, but uh, when you zoom in on the craters down at the bottom, you can see a big difference. Uh, when I zoom in on the 10, 15, and 20 second video stacked images, I don't see a huge difference between them. Maybe if I went longer, I would. Um, but in the next screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just the raw, the one exposure video or image up against the 20 second image. And then I will blow them up and make them a little bit bigger so you can really see that difference. So that's what we'll do next. I'm not really sure how well this is going to come across on the screen, um, but there's definitely a big difference between the stacked version and the one exposure version. I can see it a lot in the rims of the craters where the one on the right, the stacked version, this is the stacked 20 second video stacked image. Um, they're just a lot more crisp. You can see it a lot in those craters down at the bottom. Uh, you also don't see the overexposure on some of the, um, I guess it's the rays from the crater impacts as much in the stacked images as you do in the one exposure. Um, and so it's a, a little bit more accurate depiction probably of the moon in the stacked versions but I can definitely see differences. I didn't see a, a ton of difference between the 10 second 15 or the 20 second exposure, but 
it was a fun experiment to do. Um, I'm hoping to do one of the sun here soon, but I've had windy days. So when I try to record the video, the sea starts shaking a little bit. And so it's been a little difficult to get good video of the sun, but we will try that in the future. But this one was a fun experiment to do. And hopefully you'll learn something along the way. And we're wishing clear skies to everybody. Thanks for watching.